All right, we got some really uh, two explosive clips. The first one is Bill C-69, the don't build anything anywhere bill, got shot down, uh, you know, by the judicial system. And then next we have the RCMP are doing yet another investigation into liberals. MP Brock, um, he, you know, he, he's on point as always. Thank you, he, uh, he nails it. So check this out. Woods. Prime Minister's gatekeeping, anti-pipeline, anti-resource development policies, hundreds of billions of dollars of project investments have fled Canada and taken countless po powerful paychecks away from Canadian workers. These Liberals just aren't worth the cost. Conservatives warned the Liberals that their plans to steamroll provinces by giving themselves unprecedented powers over provincial infrastructure, industry, natural resources through their No More Pipelines Bill, Bill C-69, was unconstitutional. Will they re repeal Bill C-69 now that the Supreme court has ruled it unconstitutional yes or no yeah. I, I would like to correct my my colleague uh, and uh, the fact that the supreme court last week issued an opinion it was not a decision but let me let me give you some elements from if if the members want a briefing by the Justice Department on the difference, we would be happy to provide that to them, Mr. Speaker. Let me, let me quote from the Supreme Court on, uh, on what they said. This appeal is not whether Parliament can enact legislation to protect the environment. It is clear that Parliament can do so under the heads of power assigned to it under the Constitution Act of 1867. Exactly. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Exactly. Wow, did you hear the, the people in the background? Couldn't believe what uh, he said. Now, hey, imagine getting a, a letter of not reference from John Stone, the guy who was uh, working for the uh, foundation while judging Trudeau. Anyway, check out this latest scandal. Check this out. The Honourable Deputy de Brantford, Bra uh, Brantford, Br Brantford, Brant. Excuse me, excuse me. Mr. Speaker, after eight years of this government's ongoing corruption, we have yet another scandal. Conflicts of interest, nepotism, yeah. abuse of power, and now we have allegations of criminality around the contracting practices in the top offices of this government. The $54 million price tag for the Arrive scam app is just the tip of the iceberg. Last week, the NDP Liberal Coalition voted to shut down the testimony of the Auditor General's review of this scandal. Why? Let I have minister. Mr. Speaker, my honourable colleague knows very well that committees make their own decisions in terms of the work they want to do. What we have said, Mr. Speaker, is that at all times we expect people to comply with the contracting policies of the Government of Canada and those that decide to do something that is worthy of a criminal investigation will obviously be investigated by the appropriate authorities Absolutely. and we don't comment on investigations that the RCMP might decide to do on any of these issues. The Honourable Member for Megantic Lérable. Mr. Speaker, after eight years of Liberal management, it's scandal upon scandal. We've just learned the RCMP has opened a criminal investigation into ArriveCan, which cost Canadians $54 million for nothing. It was a Montreal firm, Botler, who sounded the alarm. For one contract, a senior Liberal government official strongly recommended that Botler work with the same ArriveCan firm, GC Strategies, a two-person firm with no office and no computer expertise. Butler identified what looks an awful lot like an organized system of collusion. After eight years of turning a blind eye, will the Liberals tell us who's getting richer at our expense when it comes to awarding contracts? Wayne? <laughs> then I have... Me the Honourable Minister. Mr. Speaker... As I've said repeatedly, we expect all those who work for the Government of Canada to follow the contracting rules, Treasury Board rules and other rules that apply. In the case of these allegations, Mr. Speaker, 
There could be some criminal activity, and we expect the appropriate authorities to investigate, and that's precisely what this government will allow them to do. Well, we've heard a lot about this Rive can, so I think we're going to hear a lot more of it. And stay tuned. There's more on ethics coming tonight. Just going to do it up right now. Have a good day. Like, subscribe, please. And thanks for watching. Appreciate it.